Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is The Stitching Colourist with Shelley Lewis. I hope you're all keeping well and that you're having a lovely week wherever you are. Today's video, I am going to be showing you my finished pages out of this book. I have now completed this book and this is Lines and Dots by Sun Life Drawing. You'd have seen this book lots of times in my previous videos where I've either finished a page. I don't think I've ever done a colour and chat with it, but I have actually completed it. This is the second completed book of the year that I've actually done. And funnily enough, it's the first one that I finished earlier this year was by Sun Life Drawing as well. So I'm going to show you my finished pictures. So just for the people that haven't seen this book, um, I know a lot of you out there probably have seen the book, but I don't want to obviously presume you have just in case you haven't. So for the purpose of the people that haven't seen this book, this is basically the pictures are just lines and dots what you colour. At the back of the book, it gives you an example of the finished pages when you've finished it. And if we go into the book, I did the front cover and I did the front cover the same as the actual front cover and I think it, I did, I really, really love that. And it was a combination of the dots and lines. So on the left hand page, you get a little information about the book, about Sun Live Drawing and also the copyright as well. And on the right hand side of the page it gives you the different pictures throughout the book like a contents page. Sometimes I don't look at the contents page, I just go straight into it because I quite like a surprise so that's what I do mostly. So we're just going to go into the book and have a start looking. So the first one is a dolphin and I completed this the 3rd of the 2nd 2019. I can't remember what I used to colour this because I didn't write it down for a time. I did stop writing down what I used to colour, but now I've started doing it again. So at least then I can let you know what I've coloured each picture in. So the next one is this one. Uh, as well, I should have wrote down what each picture was, but I didn't do that either. <laughs> so we got this one and I completed this on the 4th of the 2nd, 2019. And I cannot remember what markers I used on that. Ah. So on the next one is this Watermelons. And I finished this on the 11th of the 3rd, 2019. So it's roughly taken me about a year to finish this colouring book, which is good going. It's quite good going. I like a good colouring book that lasts a long while. So the next one is an iguana, I think. I hope I've said that right. And I did this on the 13th of the 4th, 2019. And I can't remember again what I used to colour it. There's this one of Albert Einstein. Now, with this one, I decided to do a little bit different. Instead of one colour, I did two shades of like blue. So I did like a darker blue, lighter blue, dark, light, dark, light. Well, this isn't really light, it's still dark. But, sweetheart, can you pop that to the side, my darling? It's all right, my daughter's just come in the room and she's trying to pop a dolly on the table. So I completed this the 15th of the 4th, 2019. I did this one of the sunflower and I did that the 26th of the 4th, 2019. If I can remember what I used to do the certain pictures, I will let you know. Um, but if I don't, if I didn't write it down and I can't remember, I really do apologise about that. I will start writing down again what I've used. So we've got this, uh, is it like the Cheshire Cat? In It looks like the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland. And I did that on the 5th of the 8th, 2019. I did this one. Now, I did this for Glitter in August that 
do you know, I can't even remember if it was a colour along that I did or if it was a colour along that somebody else did. I'll have to make a note of it next time. I just cannot remember. But I, obviously I used a purple glitter pen, just one single purple glitter pen to do this. And I like how it turned out. And I did that on the 7th of the 8th, 2019. I did this one. Now, some of these pictures that I'm showing you in this book, you will have seen in some finished, the end of the month, finished uh, pages. So, I do apologise if you, I'm showing you again, but yeah. Now, I did this on the 10th of the 8th, 2019. And I used, and I remember this one, because I used Giotto glitter, glitter Markers. Now, the reason why I did half of it and half of it light blue and half of it dark blue was because my light blue was starting to run out and I didn't want to try and use it right up until the last minute just in case it didn't work. So, I switched to a, a darker blue on the safe side and I quite like how it turned out. I think that turned out quite nice. So the next one is this one. I like this. Now, I do remember what I used on this. I used a big market marker pen on this one. And I finished this on the 16th of the 8th, 2019. So the next one was this one. I really don't know what that is. I'm going to sound like an idiot now. But if you do know what it is, just pop it in the comments below. <laughs> So I finished this on the 17th of the 8th, 2019. I did this one, which I really loved. And I think I used Big Market pen as well to do this one of the pumpkin. And because I kind of already knew what this was before I'd coloured it, that's why I decided to use the orange, ready orange for it. And I'm glad how that turned out. And I finished that on the 17th of the 8th, 2019. So this is the next one of the ladybug. And I completed this on the 8th of the... No, the 18th of the 8th, 2019. And I think I might have used a Giotto marker to do that. I really, really can't remember. And I think I did the same as the other picture. I did like a darker pink and then I went to light. It was probably because I was having the same problem as before. So there's this one of Pikachu and I completed this on the 22nd of the 8th, 2019. I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. I did this one of, I think he's a water lily. And I did not write a date in that. Oh, I apologise. I didn't write a date in that. But I did, again, with like I did with one of the other pictures, and I did a dark purple, lighter purple dot, and I did it that way. I just think it makes it the pictures that extra special, and it gives it the extra oomph. <laughs> the extra oomph, as you call it. So I did this one of Whitney Houston, and I didn't write a date on it, but I'm sure I did this recently, because I remember doing it. I can't remember what I used to uh, colour it, but I remember I did it recently. So I did this one and I did this for colouring book finish because for the year, the whole year I'm doing a colouring challenge which is hashtag colouring book finish and basically it's the idea is to get your books that are nearly finished or books that you want to get finished this year and just go for it. Just colour to your heart's content and get the books finished. I just thought it was, it'd be something fun to do. So I coloured this on the 27th of the 1st, 2020. So I did this in January this year, towards the end of January. Um, the next one I did was this one of the cockerel. Now... I did this for the Jelly in January 2020, which Lisa's Colouring Corner was doing and John the Bibliophile Colourist 
and I completed this on the 28th of the 1st 2020 and I used a dark black glitter marker and a blue glitter marker just to give it that extra oomph again to it and it worked out really really well so the next one I did for colouring book finish was this one of the elephant and I completed this on the 1st of the 2nd 2020 and I used a paper mate large marker to do this and I did this one like a Charlie Chaplin one I think yeah <laughs> And I completed this on the 1st of the 2nd, 2020 for colouring book finish. And I used a paper mate large marker again for it. I completed this one. I love this. Now I've got to say, I love all the pages that I've done throughout this book. And I love the, uh, the pumpkin one. But I must say, I think this one is my favourite of the rows. And I did this for colouring book finish. And I completed this on the 1st of the 2nd, 2020. And I used WH Smith double dual brush tip markers. Because my aim is to go through all of my supplies as well. And just to try all my different supplies out. Because... There's a lot of stuff that I've got and that I haven't yet used, I haven't yet uh, coloured with. So my aim as well for this year is to get my colouring supplies, start using them and enjoying them instead of them sitting on a shelf gathering dust. <laughs> I bet half of you people out there will know exactly what I'm on about. So the next one is this one of the donuts and I did this for colouring book finish and I completed this on the 2nd of the 2nd 2020 and I used gorgeous alcohol markers. Now you'd have seen in one of my previous hauls, it might have been my January haul where I showed you a set of 12 alcohol markers that I'd got from TK Maxx of the gorgeous range. So that that is what I've used on this picture. I did this one of a dragon and I completed this on the 3rd of the 2nd 2020 and I did this for colouring book finish and again I used WH Smith brush markers and I did this one now I did this on the 4th of the 2nd 2020 so it was yesterday I think I finished it. And I did it for colouring book finish and I used paper mate flare pens. And I did the same as I used with the lines where I went dark and lighter. But with this one, I did eight, no, I did six dots and six across. And I coloured that in like a olive green. And then I went like six up of the other green and then I went back to olive green and I did it that way I just wanted to try it out and see if it worked and it did it looked brilliant so the last one in the book that I completed is this one and I completed this yesterday which is the 4th of the 2nd 2020 and I did this for colouring book finish and I used Hobbycraft brush pens that I've had in my collection for ages <laughs> I've had them since last year. I've just got pencil cases and bits and bobs of different markers and pens that I've never used. So that was my idea. So that's what I did. So, and I enjoyed it. I did, well, I loved it. And at the back of the book, you get a thank you from Sun Live Drawing. And also asking you kindly to do a review on Amazon which I do for most of my books. I do reviews and I put them on Amazon because I just enjoy doing it. And also it gives you a little bit of information on how you can follow Sun Live Drawing either on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. And that's exactly what I do. <laughs> and that is it. <clears throat> and that is my second completed colouring book of the year, guys. 
I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And also, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please feel free to press that subscribe button and the notifications uh, so you'll be notified of when I bring the next video out. So I just want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my newer subscribers. I've noticed I've gained a couple more um which i'm always grateful for and i love every single one of you and your support means a lot to me so thank you for watching guys and i shall see you again soon bye